والارض مددناها والقينا فيها رواسيا وانبتنا فيها من كل شيء موزون and the earth we have stretched it and we have put down in it the mountains وانبتنا فيها and we have made grown and vegetations من كل شيء موزون all the things which grow but in pro- proper proportions this is all with pro- proper proportions you know these biologists tell us that there can be a special fish if all the eggs it lays if they you know grow into fishes then in a few years it will be more than the whole volume of this world so allah is controlling this birth control is being exercised by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over the all of the animals they are they are controlled their number doesn't increase it remains where it is so whatever we grow in this land it is all with in proper proportion shayin mauzoon wa ja'alna lakum fiha ma'ish and we have created for you in this various forms of livelihoods wa man lastum lahu bi raziqin and also for those whom you are not providing so many animals so many creatures we are providing for them all could you provide for them all wa min shay'in illa indana khazailahu there is nothing but we have all the treasures of these things vast treasures wa ma nunazzilahu illa bi qadrin ma'lum but we don't send it down but according to known measure everything is coming down Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if he has very big storehouses very vast but he is issuing you know with a proper proportion a proper measure wa arsalna riyaha lawaqiha and we send the winds fertilizing now this is the thing you know which we have come to know today the pollen grains you know the winds carry them far and wide places and these go to fertilize you know the plants and the, and then the vegetation is going on lawaqiha the fertilizing winds warsalna riyah lawaqiha fanzalna min as-samaa'i ma'an and then we send down from the heaven water fasqayna kumu and we have given it to you to drink wa ma antum lahu bi khazinin and you cannot afford to store it how can you store the water for the whole of the world what do you mean if you look to the mountains you know the high mountains all covered with snow billions and billions and billions and trillions and trillions tons of snow on the mountains what are these for the soul of the earth they are the overhead tanks only water has been you know solidified and the sun melts them melts the snow they are coming through the rivulets in the mountains then to the rivers underground channels going on this is a water cycle again from the ocean you know there are vapors going up and then they are take carried by the clouds and again it is either raining in the form of a rain or snowing there and again you know that that overhead tanks are again replenished for the next season so this water cycle and these mountains actually they are overhead tanks for all this world continuous supply of water coming over there <clears throat> you couldn't do it you couldn't store this much water you couldn't devise any means of storing this much water and continuing this this you know circulation of water throughout the world وَإِنَّا لَنَحْنُ رَحِي وَنُمِيتُ وَنَحْنُ الْوَارِسُونَ And verily, we are who give the life. And we are who put to death. And we are the inheritors. Everything will remain for us. Passing hands from one person to another. From one generation to other. From the other to the next. But in the end, who is the inheritor of all? nahnul warisun everything will remain with us wa laqad alimna al mustaqdimin minkum wa laqad alimna al mustakhirin and we very well know who amongst you will come forward 
and you know accept this faith and dawa of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and those who will remain behind lingering not accepting easily why na rabba ka huwa yahshuruhum and finally your lord will gather them all the mustaqdimin and the mustakhirin all will be gathered innahu hakimun alim definitely and verily and certainly he is all wise all knowing wa laqad khalaqna al insana min salsalim min habain masnoon now look to this term you know so heavy a term all the quran is fi arabiyyin mubin very easy wa laqad yassarna al quran li zikri fa min mudakir we have made this quran easy to get the reminding and the admonition but here you find a very heavy term salsalim min hamain masnoon what is salsal when clay you know it it hardens and it is dry it becomes you know ringing and sounding khanakna which we we call in urdu hamai masnoon the mud when it gets black in color and becomes sticky this is called hamai masnoon so the mud we have so many words in the quran about the creation of man min turab min tin min tin in lazib min habain masnoon min salsalin kal fakhar min salsalim min habain masnoon six terms are used why this is a point to ponder allah subhanahu wa taala has used these different terms why because it was in his knowledge a time will come when the knowledge of the physical sciences you know that will increase how the life developed and evolved on this planet all these facts will come to the light come into the knowledge of human beings and then you know these words will shine that this was the process that allah showed the mud you know at the course of the oceans then there are you know where water and sand and and clay they are interacting wave coming going back coming going back this continuous interaction of the clay and the water it is actually where the inorganic salts turn into organic salts and the organic salts you know they have the capability of having life from there started the life and this was the mud you know just as we have in marshy areas now there are marshy areas and there you have black mud and when it 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 is you know it becomes hard it it cracks like anything just like flakes corn flakes you know so the clay flakes and this is salsalim min hamain masnoon this is from which the the life of this planet started the unilever unicellular cell the amoeba and from that on 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 passing through different stages so torab simple clay teen when clay has been mixed with water teen in lazib when the organic changes into in, in organic change into organic there is you know fermentation in it then it turns black and you know from that if it if dries up there is salsal and the, from that man has been created wa laqad khalaqna al insana and note we find the word whenever these things are discussed not adam insan bashar not adam wa laqad khalaqna al insana min salsal min habain masnoon wal janna khalaqnahu min qablu min nar as-samum and as for the jinns we had we had created them long before from fire of scorching wind i had given you the stages you know of descent and the stages of creation but now i can't go into that detail again the alam al amr alam al khalq the explosion of kun the first explosion which by which light was created but it was cool light without any heat it was all light from this light the spirits human spirits were created and the angels were created 
Now, another explosion, a very big explosion. Now this is Big Bang, which the scientists have, you know, they have reached this Big Bang. There was an explosion and then a very fire was created. Very hot. Trillions and trillions of degrees of or centigrade. That was the temperature of those particles, photons, very small particles. And then, you know, this is the world of matter after this Big Bang. And when these balls, fireballs started to cool down, there was clay, you know, on the surface of the earth. Vapors went out and they formed the water in the, in the atmosphere. And they, they now, raining was going on for thousands and thousands of years. And when now this raining, this water and clay interacting into each other, and from there life started on this planet. Well, John, not the, the jinns were created in the intermediary stage of fire. Well, John, the Khalaknaw bin Kabul, they were created before man. Min, min naris samoom, fire of scorching wind. 